<laughs> now, once a year, over 8,000 competitors from 148 countries vie for a very prestigious title, that of the Teacher's Global Prize. Now, it bestows upon the winner prestige, recognition, and, of course, a $1 million prize and the title of being named the best teacher in the world. Wendy Horn is a Cape Town teacher who has made it to the top 40. Top 40 rather. Let's meet her and chat about this amazing acknowledgement. I enjoy being in the classroom. That's the best part of teaching, interacting with the learners, um, acting, living your passion. I'm a science teacher, um, so I enjoy bringing real life examples into the classroom and making it relevant for the learners. Wendy Horn, principal of Protea Heights Academy, is one of only two teachers from South Africa to make the shortlist for the Global Teacher of the Year Award, getting international recognition for her work. We are busy preparing learners for the fourth industrial revolution. And that means that learners are going to have many jobs as they progress through their lives. They're not going to be, as we have, basically doing one job your whole life, doing one, learning one skill. So maths and science teaches you the skills to problem solve, to reinvent yourself for the new job market that is going to be created by artificial intelligence as they go through their lives. My approach in teaching is one of demanding excellence from the learners. So if I set a really high um, standard, they will go for that standard and they will reach it. So that's my first philosophy um, or approach to teaching. My second one is to make it as practical and as hands-on um, as possible. So hopefully in that way you are able to understand it um, better. I was one day sitting in the classroom and the intercom notice came, those who want to get a bursary for teaching must come to the office. So that's where it started. So I got a bursary, I decided I'm going to do this thing, teach my four years, leave and go and do what I want to do. But when I walked into my classroom for that first time and I started teaching, then the bug just bit and 27 years later, here I am. The popular science teacher is no stranger to accolades. Wendy has previously won provincial teaching awards and a national teaching award for excellence in science. She's so much more than a teacher to us. Uh, she's more of a mentor and a role model. Um, and she's sort of an oracle of knowledge when it comes to our science class. And it helps us to engage into what we're learning and really understand the concept behind it. The Swan is not only a phenomenal teacher, but we also look up to her. She challenges us, opens our mind to bigger things. Um, we also, she doesn't push us out to our limits, she pushes us beyond our limits. As teachers, we are no longer the fountain of knowledge, so everything's available on the internet. But now, with, for example, the American election and our own things, the fake news that has come on, and everybody believes it. So we must equip learners to take that data, to analyze it, to think critically, and decide for themselves what the truth is. Because if they can't think critically and they can't solve problems, they are going to just be left behind. This educator is so passionate about equipping our future leaders with critical thinking skills that she also volunteers her time to teach learners from underprivileged communities. The WCED runs these programs called Winter and Spring Schools and that. Um, so I have taught uh, last year at, at one of the um, schools in our area trying to just uplift the, the science learners, to try and get our marks um, a bit better, but also to just give the kids a sense of confidence. What I always strikes me when I go into a school in an underprivileged area is the thirst for knowledge. Those children want to learn and that's why I, I, I do that. Many people come into teaching but when they come in here and it's not a calling then they really struggle because the learners pick it up immediately that you are just there to collect your paycheck at the end of the month. If teaching is a calling for you the learners will follow you anywhere and they will do anything for you and you will be able to make a difference in their lives. You will have discipline in your classroom, you will enjoy what you are doing. Therefore, in order to really be effective, it has to be a calling. Not only is Wendy Horn an inspiration to other educators, she's a hero and a winner in the eyes of learners who discovered how amazing science can be with this fantastic teacher.